how we arrive in life's magical moments is usually unexpected. No matter how a day begins, hindsight reveals our plans often go sideways and thrusts us into unplanned scenarios. When they go sideways, if we just keep trying, poking about, sticking it out, and seeing where the day leads, we usually are blown away by how life shines. This was one of those days. Rising at 4 a.m. to hike to an alpine lake to fly fish for golden trout led us to an afternoon session with one of the most spectacular cutthroat trout possible. This is that story. Persistence. A try. I have a go. I take it on and see what happens. And magic certainly did. No kidding. <laughs> so funny. Yeah. Oh. And how many is this? One, two, three, four over there, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. At least at least thirteen vehicles, hey? <laughs> oh yeah. And you know the fu the funniest thing I just shared that we're going up Barnaby Ridge to South Fork Lakes. Yep. And you know oh there's fifteen around the corner. Yeah, but you know that there's gonna be fly fishers. Oh, oh yeah. don't tell anybody where you're going. Oh well. And well there's we have to <laughs> we have to get away from thinking like that yep. as fly fishers. If we want to connect people, if we want to tie them in to conservation, well, there's 15 other vehicles here. I bet you not everybody's, you know, not everybody's fly fishing. No, I'm know? sure not. It's all the experience of of checking it out. Hey, man, we haven't been for golden since our days yeah. of guiding. <laughs> well, it's re what feels really weird is. We used to drive 140 kilometers an hour down Highway 11 west of Rocky Mountain House yep. to host golden trout safaris yep. as guides back 20, 25 years ago. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we'd drive 140 kilometers an hour to get there and two and a half hours of driving to yeah. host people here. Well, <laughs> and we're here. <laughs> and we're here, yeah. yeah. I'm not doing 140 anymore. Well, okay, 130, but yeah. um, <laughs> here we are, yeah. hey. Oh. And apparently we're going for a hike up there. I'm just so stoked because we're in the midst of uh, some really smoky, smoky, hazy days because of fires in BC right now, guys. Yeah. And uh, you can see that even in the color of the so sky they, over here. They say fork in the road, which way do you go? Right. Uh, <laughs> that's gorgeous, well, hey? That's funny. It is. Yeah. yeah. Just beautiful. Barefoot in the crossing. In the crossing. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's Love it. Cow parsnip. Yep. And thimbleberry. Lodgepole pine. Up and at them. Up and at them we go. Took me a second to realize those are steps. Yeah, it's really neat. Literally steps. stepping stones, yeah. yeah. That red glow. Smoke. The smoke is unreal on the mountains right now. Just smoke, Billy. Yeah. Hard on the lungs. Oh, yeah. But we're right here. Upwards. <laughs> well, I had my one Saskatoon berry, so that'll go. tie me to lunch. <laughs> Gotta love the suspension on this pack. Paintbrush season. Bit of columbine. Oh yeah. These open meadows, eh? When you're hiking are just so stunning. Yeah. So much to see. And so many different little details <laughs> in the ground and all around. I love the old lichen and oh, it's so pretty, hey? It's oh, almost the forest. black forest, eh? Yeah. Stunning. The understory. Yeah. Look at the you know, light, that's hey? One thing, like having all those years 
taking a helicopter into some of those super high alpine lakes at 8,000 feet near Nordic. Yeah. It's so awesome to just be hiking. Oh. My love is actually a lot of effort to get somewhere, you know? It's... Even some effort. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the funny thing like you're just saying is helicopters are great to get to these places. They rob you of this experience right here. Hey? Oh, they really do. They really do. Just, you know, I don't know. There's something way more special about arriving somewhere at a special location when you just put some a bit of sweat and tears into yeah. it. <laughs> and that comes from people that spent 10, 15 years flying helicopters on daily or long term wilderness camp trips or one day golden trout safaris or yep. float planes into our lodge. Nah, this is the stuff here. Yeah, it's the stuff that really pulls at our heart. Yeah, you missed this. Yeah, I just remember back in the forestry days, just coming along and these little blisters, it's all sap. And you just don't wanna, you don't wanna pop that. It's kinda like a sticky zip. Ooh. Look at that, eh? Always gotta look for a little fry. But we also have to go up there. Wow. Solomon seal, cow parsnip. Fall and seal fest. Yes. And that's the whole thing about elevation. We're middle of July and we're a month away from frost and freeze up. And that's as much growth as we're gonna get year this year, maybe another half inch. Just speaks, eh? Oh, yeah. Alpine country, slow growth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <laughs> so I guess we have a choice up here, hey? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we want to do a little bit more hiking today. Yep, yep, yep. There's, I don't know, what is there, 14 people? I think we've seen 14 people. On the lake, and I, apparently yeah. there's another seven or eight people on shore. Yeah, yeah, a couple dozen people in a lake that is maybe 150 yards across. And yeah. It, yeah, I gotta say that when you're me, yeah. and when you're you, yeah and you're elbow to elbow with other people you know how that's gonna go it's, um we may or may not make an appearance on yeah, that lake the enjoyment factor for me <laughs> kind of goes out the window yeah, i think we're gonna go talk to these but, other people yeah, up here that are long timers on this lake and just see what their thoughts are let's do on that upper lake. and just go for a wee walk yep
Well guys, after we got there and saw 14, 15 other anglers on the pond, we decided just to sit and watch for an hour and a half, just pick up a high spot on the upper lake and just have a look. Saw a couple of rises, but nothing cruising the shoreline. And well, with that many people on that small of a pond, now. Nah. Yeah, we didn't come here to combat fish. No, <laughs> especially when everybody's doing something different. You know, half of them were chucking big spoons, half, you know, the other half of the other half were ripping streamers, and then you got guys lobbing indicator. It was just no way that you're going to be able to set up and do any of the neat little shallow water cruiser stuff. So we're out of here. Um, true to us. Yep. Yeah. Uh, the hiking this is phenomenal oh, the hiking in here is gorgeous right yeah it's wonderful just to take that journey of the hike and get the exercise and see all the amazing plants and yeah yeah and that head wall it's funny because i remember watching vic bergman's uh dv uh, not dvds sorry before dvds he had fly fish in southwestern alberta and he had a thing at this lake casting to cruising golden trout and that was really really a nice gorgeous spot and after all these years 30 years later here we are doing this and a little disappointing but at the same time you know when you show up at the trailhead and there's 14 17 vehicles it's on us if we chose to come in here on opening day so not ever get complained don't don't take it that way it's just we're choosing now the other option is to walk back down an hour and a half and 2200 feet of elevation and see if we can't go catch a cup throat trout or two hey absolutely so that was quite the event, eh? Oh, it really, really was. <laughs> Talk about people oh, and, and just man. not our not our thing when it comes to fly fishing. Yeah, right? you know, it, 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 it basically it was a firing circle. You know, it was this just a ring of anglers, and there was more coming. And on the hike down the trail, we saw another four groups of three to five anglers, and it was like, oh, you guys all have fun there. Mm -hmm. You know, elbow, <laughs> yeah. elbow. Where's you my know? file? I got to sharpen yeah, this thing right? up. So we came down, uh, went for a swim, dried off, had lunch. I had a change at the van and yep. now we're here. Now we're here and we're on this gorgeous small stream, guys, that's just crystal clear waters. And you know what's neat is we're going after that one. one. That one fish and hoping to find a really neat moment where we can film, we can do some tight, up close filming of these fish yep. and someone can have a go on the rod. Yeah, and even if there are lots of people around and we might get jumped a couple of times, who cares? Because 99.9% .9 of the anglers out there will see you at that pool and leave you alone. And that's the moment. And that's one of the things we learned yes. in New Zealand long time ago. Every year changes with hard floods and what you loved last year doesn't exist this year when you go back and make sure you enjoy and are present for that one opportunity that you get. Absolutely, because some of them can be so magical, guys, and yeah. we've experienced that and you know we've shared that. You want to find <laughs> that one in that really unique water that's shallow enough and rising, you know? Other than that, you know, whatever, but you know. I mean, no big regrets. I'm out here to go 10 foot deep <laughs> nymphing, but Amelia apparently wants a shallow riser. <laughs> Gee, why didn't I think of that? Stunning water, hey? Yeah, it's hard to notice the up and look or cro if crossing over is enough. Should be should be a rise if he's there, hey? That's what I'm thinking. Let's cross. Okay, over. cross and look. Yeah. Totally a South Island, it is West kind Coast of West kind of a feel, Coast. hey? Yeah, where you get a braid and you've got that sand clear and water and these giant logs that have been embedded. In. Yeah, yeah, it just yeah, <laughs> it's pretty cool. Yeah, but really again, nice. this, we're walking on a sidewalk here right now. Yeah and not a lot of good trail holding no waters. you think about high water in here where are they where are they holding so just nothing current breaky absolutely stunning there's one right there That's my yeah he's in the middle up there though i don't know it's definitely one there i saw no he's up there now He's cruising back oh, up, the one I was looking at. Okay, gin clear water. Got wind that's gusting and pulsing. A fish that's moving around, lots, nymphing. 5X zone on water that you don't know if you can get a cast into or not. This reminds me of so much of some of the stuff in New Zealand, eh? So much of it. You just have no chance when that happens. 
I'll give this a go. That'll have a chance, actually, depending on how high he's willing to come. Right, right into him right now. No, oh, had him. Yeah, what it was is that, and then the, the fly drop drift down like that. But of course, you got a button hook, and I pulled the fly as I set the hook right out of his mouth. Gorgeous piece of water up ahead here. I'm not sure if there's a fish in the back. It's got a torpedo and is up and down that current line, but it's not swaying or moving. But there's another one mid mid run that looks really cool. He's moving all over the place. Oh, he's coming down. Look at that. Right oh, there. Yeah. Ooh, that's nice. I better get on this. Yeah. So a dried up dropper dropper on 5X on the dropper. So let's see what happens. Just not rising today at all, hey? That guy's deep again. Japers. So right up here. Right underneath that yellow patch there. Okay. Should feed it. Hopefully he wants it. Oh, I refused the dry fly. Are you kidding? Come back on the nymph. Are you kidding me? Okay, well, it looks like he's gone holding right in the bottom of the pool up here on the bottom, which is always exciting. So I've got a, <laughs> a little sarcasm there. Make it a project, holly jolly project. It's the best kind of the year. Well, that's a tough little button hook. There we go. Yes. Yes. All right. Dave. Yeah. He came up and up and up and up and up and up. That's trouble. And off. Oh, <laughs> no. He was going straight to the log jam. So there was a stick underneath there. And when I brought everything back up, everything was frayed from a three, four feet up the leader from the dry fly. And that was that. Um, yeah, I was lucky to get the dry fly back. Obviously a stick underneath there, I didn't see. I was trying to keep it from going underneath the log jam, but clearly sometimes it's when you get those sticks underneath that you can't see. That's getting rough. <laughs> Just don't know from one run to the next if there's gonna be depth, cover, escape cover, or anything to hold to. But they sure don't like this fast stuff over that shingly fine gravel, hey? Nah. Okay, so coming up on a flat like this, yeah, there's nothing rising today. Um, and this big deep flat, long glide, all those logs, sun angle is coming into it there so i'm going to get up here and i'm just going to hop up that do a little bush bash and look across because you, if you're over there on the on the low side looking out into the sun it's just not going to be sexy so you're going to get up here have a get up on the height and look across and under those logs with the sun and we'll go see what we see and right now this is making it pretty dang easy isn't it um just all fine shingly stuff no torpedo shapes, no smudges, no shadows, no movement, no, no, no. And, you know, this causeway of just nothingness. Ugh. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm going to keep height and walk around again. Yeah. Probably that backwater over there looks so good. Okie dokie. So the impossible fish of the year um, literally is just on the other side of this uh, stump on this spruce tree that Amelia's just stepping up on. The fish is just underneath that 
arcing spruce downstream of two other spruce trees that are in underneath a mat of sticks and right along those, well, spruce boughs. So I'm gonna basically get along here, kneel, 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 try to come in, uh, tuck in behind that cow parsnip with my leader, everything ready to go. Uh, this is where that, I should be able to bow an arrow 12 feet out from a nine foot fly rod that's 21 feet, which should, if I can get past the floating log that's uh, precluding me from actually casting to this fish and get a drift into the fish that's three and a half feet down uh, and hopefully get to his depth in the foot and a half I have to draw uh, to drift. <laughs> and then if I hook up, well, yeah, if I hook up, what do you think is going to happen there? Everything has been mean to me today. Just make sure everything's uh, tickety-boo. And will I be able to bow and arrow? Looks like I'm only going to be able to have nine feet on the bow and arrow because i got a nine foot to the dry and then a foot and a half to the dropper. And that's basically all I got. So with that in mind, I think we all know where this is not going. Um, I don't think so. He's going to see me plan his day if I come in from that angle, isn't he? Because I can barely get to him. Because I'm not sure. Because there's overlapping sticks out here. Ah, that floating stick. The pain in the butt right now. Oh, way over. Let's try that. No. Really? Okay, try to get a couple more inches on that cast. I'm just going to wait here. Got him. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh boy. Have fun is right. Where's that net? Okay. Oh boy. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Come on. Ah. 13 laps of wraps. Come on. Where? There we go. Thanks. There we go. There we go. Come on, fish. Come on. Come on. Come on. You didn't like that. Come on, fish. Oh, boy. Right underneath there. No, that's a goner. Oh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. He's right there. Come on. Unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, of all the fish I lined up on today, that's the one I catch? That's Are you crazy? Awesome. Unbelievable. Hell yeah. I wouldn't believe that. <laughs> Are yeah. you kidding me? Oh, man. Do it again. Yes. Yes. Oh, frick. That's so great. I can't believe that's the one I landed. That's friggin' awesome. Unbelievable. Isn't that amazing? That was... <laughs> Oh man, that was exciting. I can't believe I landed that, that fish. That was so good. Oh, oh, it was like, you gotta be kidding me. Of so all the fish I've hooked today, today. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I just say, for what you've gone through today with these fish and deep, deep pools, and this is deep. But this is the one I land? This is Isn't that amazing? That is so cool. You, yeah, I can't make that up. No. Nope. Okay, let's go find you one. So, guys, we've got a really cool fish that we found that cycles this backwater and comes along this stump and it's just it's the neatest thing and Dave's over filming him right now you can just barely see him <laughs> underneath this tree trunk and uh, yeah it's just really really neat stuff So yeah, Dave's just tucked underneath here, and this fish likes to cruise along right in front of hey guys. that stump. Just letting you know we're and, here. <laughs> and he rises there. Yeah. And we got people across the way right now. Coming up. Oh wow, gorgeous.
So guys, my plan is here to basically get on my hands and knees, which I am right now, and crawl in underneath this stump, basically where Dave was sitting filming this guy. And I'm gonna do a bow and arrow cast to him because he loves to come right along. I'm gonna have to basically pre-cast the fish um, and have my fly sitting there and just hope that as he cruises along that whole lineup that he wants to eat. And basically right now I have essentially uh, an ant pattern that I'm using. And I've got that down to 4X and <laughs> here's hoping I get to hook up. I love this kind of stuff. Um, sneaking into position, you know, doing a bow and arrow, it's totally right up my alley. So here's hoping I have some success. Gotta be super quiet, like, like the wabbits, like the wabbits. Okay, so I gotta be ready when he cycles out. Well guys, I am pretty bummed right now because uh, this fish decided on his cruising cycle to just not come back and rise along these wonderful sticks. So you can see out here, his cruising cycle was pretty substantial. He'd come along these sticks here and then cruise all the way out past this detritus, up along the gravel shelf, all the way up to that log jam upstream there and that faster water and then he'd end up in a backwater that's up over off left here um, in behind where Dave's sitting and come back here. And so who knows, you know, in that time frame, he's, pro he's probably just situated in another spot feeding. Um, who knows what's happened? Maybe he chased a fish and then just ended up hanging out in another spot. And so kind of bummed about that, but that's just how it goes. So we're going to move on now. So here's the funny guys, we uh, decided to walk back to this back channel and look inside here so you can see there's a whole bunch of piled dead up sticks here, this big spruce tree overhanging and Dave's just on the other side of it there and he swims around in this back channel. So once again, if he's going to keep cycling this, I'm going to try to get into position and do my bow and arrow thing again. So we'll see, there's a tiny little fish in this back channel that keeps rising. I don't want that fish to come eat my fly, but it's all gonna be a timing thing when this fish decides that he's gonna come into his own. That's actually gonna work. <laughs> yes and no to having a cast here because I don't want my rod to be, yeah, he just rose there again. I don't want my rod to be in the sun so much. No. I still plan to do a bow and arrow. Where is your target though? Well, that's the thing. So, oh yeah, he's over there. So Dave, do you see my rod here? Yeah. My target zone would be basically out in here somewhere. Okay. Does that make sense? Do you see that pile up of, um, it looks like maybe a part, a dead branch of spruce tree over there? Yeah. Somewhere in there. Oh, he's right by the log. Is he? Yeah. How far? How close to you? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, I see him. I just saw his tail. Yeah, the light picked up his tail and he's kind of, he's still going to my left. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Oh, I see his tail there too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. He's, that's him there, Dave. He just yep. rose there. Is he going to come further over? I don't got a good view of him right now at all. Here he is. Yeah, he's yeah. coming. Okay, you ready? Hey. Here he comes. Yes! Right on. Come on, come on, come on. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, I, I have the net on my back, damn it. Dave, come help me. He's off. Oh, man. Oh. Proper prior. Oh, damn it. He just. He, he literally took a couple head shakes and boom, gone, popped off. Oh, that's just gut wrenching. Oh man. Ah, oh. oh, guys. So yeah, that was that was pretty gut wrenching. Um, here's what happened. So when I was going for that fish in the other spot, I had taken the net off my back and I had put it beside me and it was all ready to go. And then when that fish basically disappeared, you know, he'd gone on a big long cycle, 
um, and never came back to that spot, we decided to walk up to this backwater here. And of course I hook up, but do you think I was ready with that net beside me? No, I had left it on my back. I had gotten so focused on just looking for this fish, where he was gonna rise, when he was gonna come out of the shade. And yeah, I mean, super cool to get him to come and eat. But again, I'm pretty sure, you know, I horsed him. I maybe would not have horsed him that hard had that net been ready, but I did horse him, 5X tip it. And as you can see, he busted me off. Fly gone, big fish, yeah. That's the way it goes sometimes. So that was a crazy turnaround today. Oh, it was. It so was. Like, go up a mountain. <laughs> yep. I would never have to, guessed. To some alpine yeah. lakes and go, whoa, way too many people come right back down yep. to a small stream. There had to be 50 or 60 people up there on that trail oh, today. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, it was just absolutely insane. Oh, it just was Kind of like these mosquitoes. You know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Amelia was kind enough. I, I missed the first fish on this creek. And she went, well, you better take the next one. And I missed the next one. Lost, I think, the next one. And, <laughs> and she said, well, okay, I'll give you one more. But third strike you, you sink or swim big boy yeah <laughs> thankfully i caught my fish and that of all the fish we you know looked at and saw and lined up today what was it four or five yeah and that one was not the one that should have been landed no like look at what you were in that yeah. log jam was insane was but crazy. but you did and that was so cool yeah. i love that moment uh, for it's you. kind of fitting hey but because there's a couple other groups ahead of us even on this creek and while amelia was fishing that last fish you know two other guys came down the creek and oh yeah they were ready to they were lining up to fish to that fish and i had to say hey guys uh we're here underneath this stuff oh yep. sorry we didn't see underneath where we were hiding and filming Oh, exactly. You can't make it up, but that's that's you, summer weekends. Eh? <laughs> summer weekends, man. It's it's busy. It's busy out here, but you know park. what? You still yeah, you still you still get a chance. And hey, I had a chance on that last oh, fish yeah. and and I hooked it and oh yeah, yeah you know. <laughs> yeah, so but you know, hey, man. you just, it just it's, goes back to spelling out that you just go with what you got in front of you. Yes. Whatever happens, happens. But always try. Always try, man. Always try. And so cool that we actually could get into a few fish because we said, hey, you know what? This isn't this isn't for us at those alpine lakes. No. We turned around. We picked off something that we could do. Yep. And hey, we had a few opportunities. And that's and what made we it made really the best neat. of it, eh? And we made the best yep. of it. Absolutely. And we're, and we're still fishing follow-up to a couple groups, but who cares what can you do about that exactly you know? right yep. and the walkout well check this out you know like oh, how gorgeous is that so lush the thimbleberry is basically as high as i am like, yeah look at this I know. You know? another I month mean, from now that's gonna be yogi central <laughs> wicked 